the mysterious ancient nanostructures discovered in the Ural Mountains of Russia could rewrite history. These mysterious microscopic objects discovered near the bank of Kozim Narada and Banyu rivers may completely change our perception of history. In 1991, when a team of archaeologists were conducting a geological research of gold extraction in the Ural Mountains of Russia, they were totally shocked to discover numerous strange and mysterious microscopic objects near the bank of Kozim, Narada, and Balbanyu rivers, nanostructures from beyond the time. These tiny structures are believed to have been the products of an extremely ancient civilization that was supposedly capable of developing nanotechnology about 300,000 years ago. The strange nano pieces are metal coils, spirals, and shafts among the list of unidentified components unearthed during the geological missions in the Ural Mountains. The pieces were embedded in 100,000-year-old rocks. The age of these mysterious nanostructures has placed them in the list of out-of-place artifacts, or OOP art, given the fact that researchers estimate them to be 300,000 years old. Out-of-place artifacts. An OOP art is a unique little understood object found in the historical, archaeological, or paleontological records which fall into the anomalous category to say these objects have been found when and where they should not be and thus challenge the conventional understanding of history. Though the mainstream researchers have always drawn a simple and rational conclusion on these strange artifacts, many believe Uparts may even reveal that humanity had a different degree of civilization or sophistication than described and understood by officials in academia. Some even think that the extraterrestrial intelligent beings are the reason behind the existence of Uparts. To this day, researchers have found out dozens of such Uparts, including the Antikythera mechanism of Greece, the main penny, the Shroud of Turin, Baghdad battery, Saqqara bird, Ica stone, stone spheres of Costa Rica, the London hammer, the Nazca lines, and many more. Now, the Russian Academy of Science in Siktik Var had conducted several tests on these mysterious nano objects, and the results were quite interesting, as they found the largest pieces being made of pure copper, whereas the smaller ones from tungsten and molybdenum, the metals that have been used in the spacecraft and missiles due to the ability to withstand high temperatures. The smallest one's length is only one ten-thousandth of an inch. Later, these strange materials were submitted to extensive research at facilities in Helsinki, St. Petersburg, and Moscow to find out more about their origins and compositions. Now it's clear to the scientists that the metals have not originated in nature on their own, meaning that they are components that have an artificial technological origin in other words, they were manufactured. Could these nanostructures be belonging to the rocket parts? At first, there was a speculation that the macro and nano size structures were parts that had fallen from rockets from a launch site in Plesetsk, but a report in 1996 ruled that possibility out, saying these structures were found at too great a depth. The Mystery of the Ural Mountains since the World War era, the Ural Mountains have frequently come up with a number of mysterious events, the most famous of which is the Dietalov Pass incident, where a group of trained Russian hikers were all found dead under mysterious circumstances. Since then, there, there, are, there are so many conspiracy theories behind their deaths, but the incident still remains, uh, the incident still remains a mystery. The area has infamy for shamanism, yeti, and numerous UFO sightings as well. Now the ancient astronaut theorists believe the site of Ural Mountains, from where the strange nanostructures were discovered, is the evidence of an alien presence hundreds of thousands of years ago. And this is on Collective Spark, Myth and Mystery. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support.
and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.